I'm feeling high, champagne fly. Work hard every day till we reach to the goal. This a for the people them we work hard. All who gone to the mark. R.I.P. to a loved one. Put your cups there, my. Night the feelings right. Going so I just got to Walmart. Ignore my dry lips. Um. I have to get a notarized letter for my housing for my bank. I have to get eyelashes because I'm taking these ones up. You can see, like, it's hanging off. That's why I have the freaking glasses on. Just like my makeup from last night. Um, I'm going to do a get ready with me and then film another video. I think the try on haul. And, yeah. Oh, and stuff for my guinea pigs, like fucking always. But, yeah. So, we'll see you in Walmart. So I just got back from Walmart and made a little side stop. Grab some blunts. I grabbed the Ardell Fox Mink eyelashes because they had like a multi-pack. Normally, what was the Vegas Nay? That was the other one, but they only have singles. So that was the issue. So I grabbed these instead. Um oh, and like I ins like I'll insert a clip. But Walmart has magnetic lashes, so I might try those because I've seen videos all over YouTube. On like those my eyelash keeps getting stuck on my glasses um on those so I definitely want to try them out especially like a cheap and expensive way like just to get them at Walmart so I'm gonna try to do that like at some point later on this week or in an upcoming video if you guys would like that definitely leave that in the comments below but grab that grab some romaine lettuce for the guinea pigs grab some parsley for the guinea pigs Grab some Timothy hay for the guinea pigs. If I could live on a guinea pig diet, like, I would be, like, actually, like, skin and bones. <laughs> and then, because I'm a fatty and I'm, I'm on my period and unhealthy things is just what I want. So, Walmart has, like, their, like, pre-cooked area where it's, like, right there, like, ready to go. And they have the fucking salt and vinegar vinegar salt and vinegar wings they're fucking to die for if you've never tried them go to walmart try them see if your walmart has them because i love them especially during this time of the month they like go straight to my vagina like they don't even go in my mouth they go straight to my vagina <laughs> so i grabbed me a pound of those bad boys and i'm kind of excited i'm gonna like maybe mount these before i do the video yeah, because I'm definitely not waiting until after. But <laughs> we'll see you guys when I start to get ready. Alright, so I just took my eye makeup off and like my face makeup off. Um, lately I've been using, I go back and forth between using actual cleansers and soaps. Right now I'm using, I made an activated charcoal soap because activated charcoal is like really good for your skin. So I'm using, as it's like sliding out of my hand, that's the soap. And then I mix it with the leftover bar I got from fucking Lush from Black Friday. So I like mix those together and then I wash my face with that. Right now my acne is like starting to kind of clear up. I just have a lot of like dark marks. Um, but I usually, well, I've been using the Confidence in a Cleanser um, by IT. And then the Exfoliating Cleanser by Juice Beauty. And I use these together when I use them because I use this first and then this after. This like leaves 
Like, I feel like, I don't know, I wouldn't like this by itself because it leaves, like, an oily finish. So, I like using this. So, I, like, have that, like, sleek, oh, my face is clean. And then I put this on, and like, oh, my face is moisturized. So, I do it like that. Because if it's just like this, I just feel like I just added oil to my face. Like, I just do this so I know it's clean. This so I know it's moisturized. Um, freaking. And then, lastly, after both of those... I just use the Mo Mario Badesco. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Skin care, the glycolic acid toner. Uh, um, I gave all of the like one away to each giveaway winner. So if you guys have tried those, I like it. <laughs>
Coco, if you can fucking see that. No, it's not gonna focus, because you're a piece of shit. But, <laughs> just that. Oh, and, like, okay, that's what I want to tell you. So, and last night, like, I am a huge believer in the power of the universe, and it's, like, totally changed. Like, I definitely deal with, like, my anxiety and stuff like that. But my overall outlook on life has totally changed because of it. Um, so last night, I was just like, oh, shit, I'm, like, 20 away from my goal. And I watched, um, what is her name? Erin Henry. Like, one of her videos says, like, when you're thinking about money, basically, like, your, what is that word? Not mantra, but, damn, I can't think of the word. Um, your mantra should be, like, there's plenty more where that comes from. So he basically was like, oh, I'm $20 away. Like, that sucks. Like, I'll try to do that for next time. Like, there's plenty more where that came from. And, like, I'm sitting there getting ready to go, like, upstairs. Like, I was like, I'm calling it a night. Um, I'm literally dressed. Like, fully dressed. Like, all my shit's packed up. And the bouncer calls my back saying someone wants to dance with you. I'm like, oh, shit. That's the $20 that I just asked for. And that's a very small example. But it was just like, hey. There's your plenty more. <laughs> but that was cool last night. That helped out because I was like, fuck, I'm going to be screwed. Like, not working for the rest of the week. This is the last week. Like, the last two weeks kind of sucked because I only had two shifts all week for both weeks. See, it's definitely so much darker, even with it blended. Like, look at that. <laughs> Whatever. It's just for the video. Whatever. Um... Jesus, so much darker. Like, I just want to, like, stoop down so you only see my face. Um, freaking. I forget what I was saying now. The next few weeks. Oh, after that, I'm going. Well, next week, I literally work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have Friday off, Saturday, Sunday. So I work, like, every day but Friday and Monday, because Monday the club's not open. So I work, like, a shit ton next week. Um, after that, it goes through. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to think of my schedule. After that, I've just scheduled um, Thursday through Sunday. So this is my last week of, like, really having to worry about, like, not having any shifts. Is it going to do? Oh. So this is, like I said, I ran out, so I'm just like going in with a brush. But um, this is the Wet n Wild correction stick, and the color 809. Mm -hmm. dark brown just would not focus for me
gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. and just go in and contour with the shade like I said last time I think it's the hollow I'm just going to go over that with some bronzer. I'm using the Becca Chrissy Bone. Yeah. Becca Chrissy Glow Face Palette. And I'm going in with this one. And for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the You Light Up My Life Too Faced Highlighter. And basically, I feel like last time I, well, when I told you about how I do my eyebrows and how I go back under and conceal it, I'm going to do that with the highlighter instead of like actual concealer this time. Um, my eyebrows aren't that bad, so sometimes when I want the shimmer, I do both. Like if my I like don't want to touch up my eyebrows, so I just go up with the concealer and then do the highlighter. But today I'm just doing the highlighter. So do the same thing for my cheeks up by my. Like eyebrows. So basically, I just do like a thick line right next to my eyebrows, and then I just go down and like fade it in. Basically, my face is done. I don't know what lip I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't know what lip I'm gonna do. So, for eyeshadows, I think I used everything in this one. <clears throat> Did I forget? Um, I'm gonna go in with the color. What was the last one I did? Was it the purple? I'm like trying to, yeah, okay. So I'm trying to make sure I didn't already do this one. So I'm gonna go in with the color Throne right here. And this is out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with this Saturn color right here next to it. <laughs> so 
that's that. I'm gonna go in and like blend it real quick. Just a little bit. And then what makes this like really look fun and like work is I go over like right where they connect with, I don't know, this is the Stella, I don't know what it's called, Glitter Go, uh, Glitter and Glow Lic Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Smoldering Satin. So I just put that like right there. Okay, well, I'm trying to, like, look in the camera instead of fucking do it in the mirror. Now I make my life so much harder on myself. Ah! And then in the mirror, I mess up anyway. Alright, whatever. And I basically just drag them. I'm gonna need more. Drag them and, like, mix them together. I start in the corners instead of just like blotted all over it even though I'm blending it because it kind of makes it look like gradient like it's more glittery like in the top corner and then it gets less glittery to like the orangey color at the top <laughs> if that makes sense and then I just go one last time and blend this like everything together with the throne again just a little bit um <laughs> Not only does it bring up like the two colors that kind of like blend together, but it brings some of the sparkles up into it, so it kind of like I don't know just works together. <laughs> but that's the eyeshadows. I'm gonna do eyeliner real quick and yeah. <laughs> died so I had to freaking recharge it but while I had like recharged it I figure out what I wanted on my lip which in the meantime I dyed my lip the wrong color with another color so basically I literally just went over if you ever don't have a lipstick to match the eyeshadow you use just go over with like a lip gloss and then the actual eyeshadow you want to use that's what I do, my makeshift lipstick when I don't have something to match. Um, and then I also went in with the eyeliner, finished that, and I added white, like, right in the corners of the bottom. But I also wanted to mention, so I have my, like, three most embarrassing story times. I've mentioned, like, the story time, well, like, kind of the story of, like, the guy, like, when I was bending over for my ones, like, sticking his hand up my vagina, so that was, like, a scary story time. Um, I don't really have that many, like, crazy stories. Um, I'm gonna, like, try to, like, really put some thought into it and, like, think of moments that were, like, really scary or really funny. Um, but <clears throat> I had an idea that, like, since, like, I don't know, in the group me, you guys seem very open and comment, you guys seem very open. Like, I've gotten a couple stories in comments, um on the three most funniest stories of you guys' stories. <coughs> so I created um, an email address. It's just stripperdiaries at hotmail.com um, for you guys. If you guys want to send me any stories, whether it's scary, funny, like, I don't know, any sort of stripper stories. No, it's not coming back. Any, uh, any sort of funny stripper stories. <laughs> or any sort of stripper stories, um, send it there, um, whether you want to remain anonymous or anything, 
If you want to remain anonymous, leave that in the email um, that you don't want your name mentioned or just don't mention your name. And I won't mention your name. I won't mention anyone's email address to begin with, but just say that you don't want your name mentioned. Um, but I think that would be like a fun way to like incor incorporate you guys into my videos. So definitely send any stories to that email. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to start doing that. Like once I start getting a couple stories in that email, I will definitely start doing that. But I thought it would be a good idea. So that will definitely be linked in the description box below from now on. But before I put my eyelashes on, I just have to go in. Going in with that. Uh, same thing as last time, the Dior Show Blackout Mascara. is the Fox Mink and they're the number 811 so I'm just gonna put glue on those find my glue first so I'm waiting for that to get tacky um what are they gonna say we're getting another storm today into tomorrow Leave in the comments below if you're in an area that's getting hit like every fucking week with a storm now that like winter's about to end because I don't fucking get it. I don't get it at all. But yeah, so it's, supposed to, it's gonna sm uh, snow tonight into tomorrow and I'm kind of over it. Like we had like a good winter, like barely any snow, like a couple snowstorms here and there, but it was pretty chill and no, now it's just snow every fucking week. Jesus so definitely leave that in the comments below or if you're just fucking lucky to be in like California or Florida or somewhere where it's fucking always hot like lucky for you but I don't think I could do that because I overheat like I don't like being hot like so I don't know if I can do that all the time and for when it gets like really hot in those areas but I'm so jealous at this point <laughs> I'm gonna actually put them on off camera because I make crazy faces, so I'll be back. Alright, so this is the finished look. With my eyelashes. Um, I'm literally not doing anything but filming the try on haul. <laughs> I really like the way this came out when I did this at the club. I didn't do, I don't even know. I feel like I just did lip gloss at the club. Um, but, so I thought you guys would like it. If you guys like, like, I don't know, the makeup that I try. I don't know, I try different things at the club. So if you guys just like me to just go ham and do what I like do at the club for get ready with me's, um, definitely leave that in the comments below. <laughs> But I don't know what you, like, technically want for Get Ready With Me, because I'm not, like, a makeup artist. Like, I just do my face. <laughs> That's about it. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.